Here's your WNEM TV 5 news update. Good morning, everyone. I'm Blake Keller. Let's take a look at the top stories for today. Genesee County Sheriff Chris Swanson giving an update today as the search continues for a missing flushing woman. 60 year old Kelly McWhorter disappeared over the weekend. Her ex husband, Stephen Higgins, who shot himself dead, is the main suspect after evidence at their home suggested a very violent and bloody fight. McWhorter's car was eventually found down in Ohio. A deadly domestic violence case took the life of a University of Michigan Flint student. 25 year old Gina Bryant of Macomb was kidnapped Thursday afternoon after going home for lunch. Investigators say then Friday afternoon she was shot in the head at a truck stop in Illinois. They identified her kidnapper as her ex-boyfriend from Holly. Police tracked him over to Iowa. They say as officers got up to his car, he shot himself in the head. Bay City's Riverfront hosting it is uh, its first ever Autumn Moon Bridal Night Out, a chance for brides to shop and talk with local vendors as you plan and prepare for your big special day. It's at the Doubletree by Hilton. It's tonight starting at 6. You just got to pay $10 at the door. We have meteorologist Matthew Manjo here with a look at your forecast. Thank you, Blake. For your Thursday, we are tracking some rain showers in mid-Michigan. Even this morning, we've seen just some lighter rain moving through our area. We will have some breaks from time to time, especially during the late morning hours, but it is looking like by the afternoon, more rain picks back up for us. So again, a little bit of a lull there in the rain late this morning, but then once we head into the afternoon and the evening, more of this widespread steady rainfall moving through the mid-Michigan region. Once we go into your Friday, though, a few lingering showers, at least behind the system, but for the most part, actually a bit of a drier day for your Friday. And I think for the most part, by Friday evening for high school football, will actually be in pretty good shape with only a couple of lingering showers right around kickoff. But some games actually remaining completely rain free for the evening. Your first alert rain predictor also bringing in a quarter to a half of an inch of rainfall, a couple of locally higher totals possible as well. But most of us will be able to stay below that half inch mark and still a bit of a milder day too. temperatures right up to around 60 degrees this afternoon, middle to upper 50s for our northern counties. We'll have a southerly wind today between 10 and 15 miles per hour gusting to 25 so a bit breezy during your Thursday afternoon that wind turns to the northwest tomorrow starting to cool us down so we have a high of 57 Friday then 52 on Saturday eventually a high of only 50 on Sunday and also Sunday night that'll be cold a low of 31 degrees first alerting you to the first widespread freeze of the season on Sunday night. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24-7 for the latest news, weather, and information.